Hey guys, uh, in today's video, we will be discussing the protein visualization using software named Pymo. First, we will go towards installation of this program. I will write here as Pymo download and uh, I will hit enter and the first hit will uh, give us uh, the access to the page uh, from where you can actually download the software. So such kind of interface will appear you can you go down and down uh, click on the download now button I'm not clicking it here because I've already downloaded this software if you want uh, to uh, run the uh, uh, the free version of this software you can simply download it otherwise you can also buy the license and uh, you can perform various other functions as well you uh, can also go down and see the different operating systems uh, I do have the Windows operating system so I will just click here and uh, the file will start to download in the meanwhile I'm going to register uh, for this software uh, to get the license file so uh, I will go to the registration form link by going back and clicking on the second hit and a such kind of interface will appear I will write down all the credentials here and they will send uh, uh, an email to my email address and uh, this will uh, I got this email from them I will go down and see the username and the password that they have assigned me uh, I will click on this and uh, this will appear I will click on the license file and uh, the text file will start to download after an installation you will open up the software and such kind of uh, interface will appear uh, with the exception that they will ask you to activate that uh, license text file and uh, after that you will get this kind of uh, appearance here of the software now I'm going to uh, describe uh, you about uh, the different parts of this uh, software. So uh, this uh, uppermost is the upper control panel where my cursor is moving and uh, these are the different uh, functions or different buttons on which you can click and uh, uh, customize the things that you want and uh, this huge black uh, area is the display area actually where your um, uh, protein will appear and uh, you can actually visualize it and uh, this is the object menu panel uh, you can uh, do whatever you want with the protein here by you know uh, act, um, by you know clicking here on the action button and you can you know remove waters and do other kind of things and you can also uh, change the shape of the protein you can also hide the uh, particular area you want and you can also label it and you can also color it uh, below that this area is the mouse control area and this is the movie control area this uh, this area where pymol is written this is a command line and uh, this is this bottom area is the command line so uh, now uh, there are basically two approaches by which you can open up the protein uh, you can actually uh, if you want if you have the uh, pdb doc file in your computer you can simply go here and search for it in the known location or you can simply fetch the ID number of the particular protein that you want to work on uh, by fetching I mean that you can go to the uh, PDB website and you can uh, you know search for the particular protein here and they will give you the uh, particular uh, code for that uh, I'm not uh, now fetching the protein but I'm all uh, I'm here fetching the uh, code for the RNA and uh, this is the code for it uh, here I can write uh, fetch fetch one EBM enter so this is the RNA molecule and uh, uh, I can use the uh, mouse uh, by clicking on the right button uh, and it will start to zoom in and zoom out if uh, I go towards uh, towards the keyboard then it will start to zoom and if I go uh, towards the end of my key uh, of my writing pad it will zoom out uh, and by clicking on the left uh, I can uh, I can you know rotate this uh, 
molecule okay so as i told you earlier that there are two approaches whether you write the commands here in the comment line or you can uh, change uh, the things uh, by clicking here by ac uh, action and show and hide and label and color so by writing things in the comment line uh, i find easier uh, if I want to change the shape of this uh, particular uh, mo molecule, uh, I can write here in the comment uh, line uh, the different shapes that I want to see uh, this uh, kind of uh, molecule in. Uh, I can write here as uh, show lines. Then I will enter. So mm, this will show up. I don't want to see this cartoon. So I can write here as height cartoon and then enter so the cartoon disappeared i can also change it uh, from here i can click on show and i want to see the thing on uh, in sticks and i want to uh, i don't want to see it in lines so i can just uh, uh, click on hide and uh, lines yes uh, okay uh, i want to show it in cartoon and i want uh, i don't want to see it in uh, sticks so yeah there we go okay so we can uh, change the shape of the molecule the way we want uh, one more thing we can also save the scenes here as uh, scene 001 comma store so this scene will be saved and uh, if I want to save another scene in the form of uh, you know spheres and uh, uh, I have made up a mistake in this uh, uh, in this shape and I want to revert back but I also want to store this as well I can write here as uh, scene 002 comma store and then enter so this will scene will uh, be saved here and this is scene 2 and this is scene 1 scene 1 so uh, one of the biggest advantages of the software is that you can revert back anytime you want but before that you have to save the scenes for you okay uh, so i can also change the color of the residues as well uh, uh, you can go here in the movie controls and you can click on s to get uh, the sequence appear on the uh, on the interface you can also go to display and you can ask for a sequence okay you can also ask for a sequence so there are multiple approaches to do the task uh, i want to see the area from one to six as red so i can write here as uh, uh, i can write here as color sorry color uh, red comma resi one two six and enter so wow this uh, appear as a red color here and uh, if I want to you know don't want to see it red and I want to see it in the publication style I can go here in the action and I can search for a preset and I can click on publication so this is the way uh, one want to see the protein structure or the other small molecule structure in the publications or uh, you can also preset it to technical whatever you want Oh wow, so I can you know save this scene as well. Scene 003 store enter. So yes. Uh, so till now we have discussed the installation of this software and then the interface uh, description and uh, you know things about Pymo.